Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial I'm going to show you the Cross Focus plugin. It's a blur plugin and it uh, can be found in the Volume 4 of the Andrews plugin series. It's uh, for Photoshop, PSP, Photo Paint, etc. Works in CC, CSX, etc. Also it's only for 32-bit unfortunately. It'd be nice if it was 64-bit but it's not. It's 32-bit. So I'm just going to quickly go through some of the functionality and of course it could be combined in millions of different ways so uh, it's not really going to be easy to show every bit of functionality so the basic one is it's uh, well focus so it blurs out the uh, the action so uh, and there's options here pixel vertical does a slightly different blur grayscale that really well, actually really blurs it out so it virtually becomes like a silhouette in the uh, in that picture there's a mirror Design actually you can see it sort of mirrors the uh, image, actually blurs it over there, blurs it over there, and source that uh, uses the source image in a particular way. Right, I'm just going to go back to the focus option, the first one. Uh, you can link the settings, there's uh, a link option that will just link these different settings so they're all in sync instead of, but you can actually obviously independently control the red, green, etc. channels. You can also apply the plugin actually to a channel. So if you uh, you select the red channel or say the green channel and then apply the effect and you can go to the red channel or the blue channel and apply a different effect and then obviously combine them again in the RGB. Also you can use it in CMYK and lab and other modes. So you can control the diagonal so you can really sort of you know, now really blur out the image. Of course we'll just go back and just blur it in a subtle way there modify the intensity make it very blasted out so you can't see it hardly or you can make the thing a lot darker and sort of very very gloomy sort of uh, image right just put it back to about the default value you can also add noise into the thing so you've got a sort of grainy blur also you can mix the image as well as the and also do it via channels with the blur so as a quick and easy way of creating great interest in uh, color blurs using that. As with all the plugins in the uh, graphic extras range, there's uh, blend options. There's a hundred of them, so you can just quickly go through all the various. You just select those, and you, that creates interesting. Well, I'm just going to click OK at this point, so you can just see. And there's one of the effects. Of course, you can now fade it as well. You can go to Edit, Fade, and you just like Difference or Darken. And so on. I'm just go back, filter, and it's in the blur menu there. Cross focus, and there's other options. Like I say you've got lots, hundred different modes. There's also effects modes, which basically apply the, uh, the the plugin effect as a source. So you can actually use it for smears, shifting the pixels, paints like effects, that sort of thing. There's also different color options. I'm just going to randomize them. These are modifies this setting here but randomizes those so move that backwards and forwards use you've got uh, layer transparency options where if it's on a layer it uh, will modify the layers transparency there's also uh, post processing gradients which can be added to the blur which you can just see there's a gradient there as well as other gradients which you can randomize by using the that option there you can tweak the values of the blurs just by the tweak and there's other randomization options. Now this is available in the plugin volume 4 set from Andrew's plugins on graphicextras.com.